Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Objects 12 for Part 5 of Module 1, and we got another one problem long lesson, but that's okay. So get product, <clears throat> excuse me, of all elements at property. So we've got an array that's inside of an object, and so we're back to our edge case situations here. Um, if the if there's no property at the given key, so that's going to be if object at key is equal to undefined, and we're going to return, what do they want, zero? That's odd. Anyway, the reason I say it's odd is because theoretically we want us to return one, but no big deal. So, um, if the property of the given key is not an array, so array dot is array of object at key, which is how we access our array. If that's equal to false, we are done for this problem, and we just want to return zero. And if the array is empty, it should return zero. Uh, this one we are going to have to check explicitly because uh, we're going to begin our product at one, so we won't be able to just return it without having done, ha without our having done anything to it, because our product is just going to be one in those cases. So we'll return zero in that case. Now we're going to establish our product as one. We're going to return our product at the end. We're going to iterate over the input array, which is located at object at key. So i is going to be less than object at key dot length and then increment i each time. And we want to say product times equals whatever the current value is. So the current value is going to be the array, which is object at key, located at the current iteration, uh, which is, well, it's not the current iteration, it's the current value of the index that we established for the purposes of iteration. But a lot of times you can blend those by just saying the current iteration, meaning at i, whatever i is. So product is equal to one, product times equals whatever the current value is as we iterate over the entire uh, array. And then finally we return the product. And we're in good shape. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.